My Storybook is another way for educators to integrate technology into the classroom. It's a pretty cool website because not only can educators create a storybook, but also students uh, have the opportunity to be, to be published. That means that their storybooks that they create in class can be shared with family and friends online. Now there is a charge for the ebook, but this website is free to access and students have fun creating storybooks. There are many within the lesson resources that uh, are demonstrated as examples. Students can win awards, but more importantly for the context of this presentation, educators can use it as another way uh, to integrate technology for students, just to make the lesson more engaging. Here at the top, we have the My Storybook icon, and then also there's an item for teachers in terms of logging in and some examples, lesson resources, and then we have a menu option, which I have already logged in, which is indicated through the sign out. I have a library where I've created previous storybooks, and then today I'm going to create a new storybook as a demonstration. Now, as a default, always the title for the storybook will be my first storybook here to the right uh, demonstrates the pages that are included in this blank canvas the first page is a cover page my first storybook there are two inside pages one two and then there's the back cover of the book which has default text here write a description of your story here so people know what it is about. Also below, I can add additional pages. Maybe I want to have six, seven, eight, nine, or 10 pages. Also, I can delete some of those pages. To my left, here the items tab allows me to include images on some of my pages. And then here I can add images and upload them as well. Then there's an option for draw. So it gives me a pencil, a brush, a square, dagger, and so forth. Then I can change the colors also. And then this one is pretty cool for text. I can type my text in here. This is a text box. Change the style of it. The styles range from huge to tiny. Center it, align the text, or also justify it to the left. Change the colors of the background as well as the color of the text. Go back to the first page or cover. I'm going to select all of the text and I want to entitle this item about adverbs and adjectives. Now initially upon finding mystorybook.com I thought that this was primarily used for elementary school educators, but I will tell you, having looked at some of the lesson resources of what uh, educators have done as well as what students have done, this can be used for K through 12. So this could very well work for persons in high school. This lesson plan or storybook that I'm creating today, I would assume would be for a fourth grade class. That's what I'm going to uh, make it for. So I'm going to highlight my text here. Now you'll see this item pops up. This is simply a shortcut of the options that are here in the left menu. Text size, let's try really big. That's nice. Then I want to change the color of it. All right. And definitely I love to play with typography. So let's take a look at the font. Find something that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's cool. Yeah, let's see. Let's think about centering it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'll move it down. All about adverbs and adjectives. Let's go ahead on to the second page. I just simply clicked on the second page here. Now, I'm going to add a text box. Click on text. And I want to start by identifying or providing an explanation. So I'll include a question here. Highlight my text. What is an adverb? Click Add to Story. I'm going to change that font to reflect. Yeah, the cover. Okay, great. Click on my text again to include another text box. I'm going to and then here, give a definition. So adverbs usually describe or modify verbs. 
our modified verbs. Okay, we see that the text box actually fell upon the first box. I'll just click on it and move it down. And I want to change my font also here. Okay, cool. Yeah, all right. So what is an adverb? Adverbs usually describe or modify verbs. I'm going to click on to my third page. Click on the text option. This page will ask about an adjective. What is an adjective? Add to story. Then I'll simply select it and change my font. And then now I want to add a second text box on this third page. I'll click on text and then simply begin typing. Adjectives are words that describe nouns. Once I have it typed, now we have seen as a default it goes back to the basic type or font, but I can simply change it here also. You'll see the changes reflected. Click on Add to Story and then move it down. Now remember we started with my storybook only having four pages, so I haven't ended. I'm not ready for the back, so I'm going to simply click on Add Page. Go back to my text box. And now I want the students to circle the adverb, adverbs, and underline the verbs they describe. And now it defaults back to the font that I like. I'm going to move this up a bit because I'm going to provide, provide the students with at least two examples. So I click back on text. The balloon rolls quickly in the sky. That's the first question or statement for the students to uh, find the adverb and the verb. Finally, got our grades from the test. Question. So I'm just going to simply click on it and move it down. Move this over just a bit. All right, good. So that deals with the adverbs and the verbs. And then I'm going to create a new page also. So I'll simply click on Add Page. Now this one here will ask the students to identify the adjective and the noun. So I'll click on Text again. Here, Circle. Are the, here are the instructions. Circle the adjective and underline the nouns it describes. Click on Add to Story. And then remember, I'm following suit of my page I just created in terms of for the adverb. So I'm going to include two sentences for the students. John caught the red ball. Dog found a large stick. Click on Add to Story. Okay, now I'm going to move on to my last and final page, which is the back book cover. Let's see. So I'll just highlight this default text and let's see. This ends the storybook about adverbs and adjectives. I want to center it also. And I'm going to be consistent with the font that I have used throughout. I believe that was about medium and center. Let's try it once again. That doesn't appear to be. All right, now we have it centered. And let's also leave it at, see, that was a bit of the, yeah, great. So my colors are consistent with my front and then also my back. Now I'm going to go back to the cover of my storybook and just add a few changes, some more items to demonstrate how the storybook can come alive. Okay, so this one again is entitled All About Adverbs and Adjectives. Let's find a few items here. We'll add a character. 
Now, one interesting thing about the storybook also is that you can add original images. Since my text is there, I'm going to add the girl. I will make her a little bit larger, center her, and then let's make some changes to how she looks here. Hmm. A blue shirt, brown. Let's try something pretty. Okay, black. Let's change that to something a bit lighter. All right, that works. Let's change her hair. Let's try for some cool shoes. All right, great. So here's the opening page. Let's check on the hair. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Let's see, do we want to include anything else here? So once I find an image that I like, just play with it and then very well you can delete the item just as I did and you can add it here I can draw some things let's see I can leave it if I'd like to and then I can also delete I think I'm gonna actually delete that item and also this one I'm going to move along to my back page and include the girl again. So I have her at the beginning and then also at the end. All right, so I am finished in terms of creating my storybook that is entitled All About Adjectives and Adverbs. Go ahead and save, and you'll see that it says auto save because it automatically saves the storybook that you create. Now click on finish. Storybook saves automatically. Are you finished writing your story? Finish story. And then here you have an option in terms of publishing. Do you want to publish your story? Uh, I can publish it or I can keep it private. I'll click on publish. And then here is the address of where persons can find my storybook. I can send them a link, but also it can be accessed on these social networking sites. In terms of using Storybook, it is free, but to create the ebook download, there is a $5 charge. I'll just proceed through that. And now I have it here. It works the same way for the students creating a Storybook. They can publish, share, and then print the story.